Hello everybody, welcome to the garden. Today is June 23rd. Um, it's the heat of summer now, finally. We finished almost all of our planting. We have our fruit trees planted, all of our vegetables planted. We did some rhubarb and uh, some horseradish. What I want to explain in today's video is how to set up a remote solar irrigation system for a garden. Um, there are many reasons why you'd want to do this. People have rain barrel collections. Um, it's a lot easier to not have to water each plant by plant, which can take you hours if you set up a system like this. Basically, you have it run for around 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening, and it waters all your plants at the same time. For me, the reason why I wanted to set this up is because I'm not here all the time. So in the heat of the summer, I might only be here for a couple days every other week. And I need to make sure that these plants are still gonna grow correctly and I'm not gonna come back one of these times and have all my plants all weathered up and dead because we had a heat spell in the summertime. Um, so I wanted to set up a solar powered irrigation system and that's what I did. What I went with for this setup is a little bit of overkill, but I had some of the parts on hand and I was given a free battery to try out from Unawix. It's a 100 amp hour, 12 volt lithium ion LiPo4 battery which I was able to set the system up and again that's a little bit overkill for what you'd want but I wanted to make sure I had enough power um, and that I wouldn't ever have to worry about the battery running out. So let me start with the solar component of the solar powered irrigation system. I have a Renogy 100 watt solar panel which I have mounted to a bracket that I made myself and it's on one of the poles of the garden fencing. That runs down into a Renogy uh, solar charger which then takes that solar power and feeds it down into like a weatherproof box that I have my Unawix 100 amp hour 12 volt lithium LiPo4 battery hooked up to. So that battery is constantly charging as long as the sun is out. Um, it then attached to the battery itself, I have cables up to a separate box that has like a little water pump I think it's a Seaflow is the name of the company. Again, there'll be a description for that below uh, where you can purchase it on Amazon. So the battery gets charged by the solar panel and then the battery itself is hooked up to the pump. So that pump itself is a basic water pump. It senses pressure coming into it and when it hits a certain amount of PSI as the pump turns on, it'll pump the water through into the irrigation system. So that pump is gonna sense water coming into the pump. So if there's a certain amount of PSI, that pump is going to turn on. If it gets to the point where the water is cut off, that pump is going to turn off as well. You want it to be an on-demand pump so it's not just running consistently and constantly. Especially if you have it hooked up to a timer, you want it to turn on for the time that the timer's on and you want it to turn off when the timer turns off and that solenoid inside the timer closes. So hooked up to the end of that pump is a just a basic garden water timer. So this could be hooked up to your to your spigot on your house or you can hook it up to the system I have here. So what that's going to do is you're going to set a time of day and the amount of time you want the pump to be on and it's automatically at that time it's going to open, it's going to trigger a little solenoid to open up the valve and allow water to pass through it and then when it gets to the end of that timer it's going to, that solenoid same thing is going to close the pump um, and it's going to cut the water supply off to it. I have mine set up to run in the morning for about 10 minutes and just to run in the afternoon for about 10 minutes. So after it goes through the pump, goes through the open solenoid, it runs down into an irrigation system, which I have on the ground, and it has a main cord that runs in both directions, one towards all the vegetables and one towards my pumpkins and my corn. Along the tubes of the irrigation system is a series of little, let's say like sprinkler heads, and each of those heads is opened up on my plants. When the water timer turns on, the pump starts to pump the water out of a holding tank that I have on top, which right now is just a Rubbermaid 45 gallon um, trash barrel. At some point I'm, I plan on upgrading that system, but this was kind of a trial to see how everything went before I spent more time on a bigger uh, water holding system because those can get pretty pricey. When the timer turns on, the pump turns on, pumps water out of that holding tank and down through the irrigation lines and out through the sprinklers in each of the plants. Um, and it waters your garden all at one time. So that there's a lot of benefits to this system. Uh, it's a lot faster to water your garden. It can be done autonomously, so you don't have to be there doing it yourself. It'll turn on and off when you set it to turn on and off. And um, it just saves a lot of time. So this system is set up right now with 45 gallons of water. In the future, I wanna get up to somewhere around 200 gallons. And I wanna set up a whole um, 
rain irrigation system so I can capture as much water as I can inside the barrels. Because right now what I'm doing is I'm carting water out here on a tank that's on the back of my ATV. I'm using that same water pump, just hooking it up to the tank on my ATV and hooking it up into the rain barrel collection bin. And I'm pumping water out of that to fill the rain barrel up, which is not necessarily the best way to do this. But again, this is a trial. This is the first time I've ever set up a system like this. So I want to use it for a little bit, see how it goes before I invest more time and money and setting up a whole rain barrel system out here and really what I want to do is just be able to get maybe one to two waterings a week in when I'm not here to water it myself manually um, I think the system is set up nicely I've been able to irrigate the garden here and it it could get all my plants totally done and watered in about 10 minutes where I've actually been out here myself manually watering this and it took me about 45 minutes to get all the plants watered in the same amount of time that it took the system to water everything in 10 minutes flat basically. Um, so I want to give a thank you to Una Wicks who helped sponsor this video by giving me one of their 100 amp hour uh, 12 volt batteries which I have hooked up. It's, it's been excellent so far. Um, it holds charge, more charge than I would ever need for a system like this. I might add more things to it in the future because it, I'm just expanding what it is that I'm doing. I'm starting to get into solar so I think that battery was perfect for this application. It's perfect for any bigger applications and has a lot of room for growth. I'll have a link in the description of the video down below to the Unowix store on Amazon where you can purchase that battery if you like it. Um, there's a code there, so if you want to sponsor my channel, uh, it, there's a 10% off code down there for anything you purchase on Uno Wix. So if you like this channel and you want to sponsor it, that's a perfect way to do it. If you use that code, you're going to get 10% off your purchase, and uh, I'm going to get part of the proceeds to that, which is going to help fuel this channel and help me make more videos like this. So if you like the content, definitely appreciate checking them out and maybe, maybe considering buying a battery for them. So that's pretty much it. That's the solar powered watering system in a nutshell. So if I ever upgrade the system, I'll definitely make another video to talk about that and definitely give any tips and tricks I've learned over time after I've had the system for a while. I appreciate everybody tuning in. It's much appreciated. If you like the channel, make sure to give this video a like and follow below. Um, take care everybody. Cheers and thanks again.